Disaster in Newfoundland's oil fields. The world's largest offshore rig is swallowed up in an Atlantic storm. We saw a few bodies. A couple of life rafts were overturned. No survivors have been found. All 84 are presumed dead. That was February 15th, 1982. An oil rig called the Ocean Ranger went down in a storm off the coast of Newfoundland. All 84 crew members died. 30 years later, the pain for those left behind is as strong as ever. And as Vicodopia tells us, so is the call to ensure it never happens again. There's a storm upon the, wind. the lyrics tell the story of the Ocean Ranger because no one lived to tell it. Stephen Goss lost a childhood friend. It's a part of the suffering, it's a part of the healing process and uh, I, I think it'll just endure forever. Songs about lives lost to a cruel sea are part of Newfoundland lore, but the tragedy of the Ocean Ranger was man-made, the result of poor safety standards and training. For me, the central story here isn't about a storm, it's about both federal and provincial governments' failure to regulate those oil companies and those companies are made to profit. That's what they do. They chose not to do that. And uh, three of their men were killed that first week. The dark chapter in Newfoundland's golden oil age is also being remembered on stage. Every time I hear the show, I think, oh God, if only these guys had had a bit of training, if only, you know, if only, if only. Any weaknesses that might be there. This sociologist says 30 years ago, regulations for the offshore oil industry were too lax. I can remember talking to people who worked on some of those early rigs that were here, particularly American ones that were, they still had this kind of cowboy frontier kind of attitude towards things. Today new simulation technologies and higher safety standards have better prepared workers and Newfoundland has emerged as a major center for offshore survival training. Even with those advances, the North Atlantic remains one of the most dangerous environments in which to work. Vicodopia, CBC News, St. John's.